Today I'm going to talk to you about how to make your very own paper circuit origami firefly. All right, so I'm ready to make our origami paper circuit firefly. And the first thing we need to do is our origami part, of course. So we're going to start with a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And we need this to be a square. So I'm just going to fold from one of the corners all the way to the other side. So these two edges kind of match each other. That's how I know I'm gonna get a perfect square. And I'm gonna fold it there with a nice heavy crease. And I like to take the edge of my nail and press down when I'm doing origami to get these really good folds. And now I don't need this leftover bit here, so I'm just gonna cut it off. All right, and now I'm gonna put my triangle just like this. So I've got the point um, kind of at the bottom and I've got these two flappy sides. And I'm gonna take those two flappy sides and fold them all the way down to that middle bottom point, just one at a time to make it a little easier on myself. And again, I'm using the edge of my fingernail to press that crease. And now the other side, and I'm gonna press that crease again. And this becomes, this will later become the wings of your firefly. So the next thing we need to do is turn our project over so we have the nice smooth back. So we flip the project over to this nice smooth back and we're ready to move on with our firefly. And what we're going to need to do here is start to fold over a little bit at the top. So I've still got the open bit down here and this is closed, right? I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to choose about, let's say about halfway down this line. I'm going to fold it right over. And I've got that fold in place. I'm going to really flatten it with my nail. And now I want to bring this up a little bit again. So I'm going to fold it up a bit. And this is going to become the head of your firefly. I'm going to turn it over so you can kind of see. This is going to become the head of your firefly. So where you make that top, that fold here, that's gonna be up to you. I just used about, this is a little bit more than a quarter inch, but not quite half an inch of uh, space there. But you can decide if you want to have a smaller head like this, or you just make a deeper fold or you know a larger head. And I kind of like when there's a larger firefly head. So I just bent back a little. So I've got my fold in for the head. I'm gonna flip this, oh wait, nope. I'm going to keep it on this side for just a moment because the next thing to do is fold in the wings like so. And what I'm doing when I fold over these two sides is I'm matching it up to the little diagonal line that I had just created when folding over that headpiece. So I'm gonna fold that here and then one over here. And then I'm gonna flip my firefly back over. So you can get the basic shape of your firefly. Now, if I made my head a little bit um, smaller, or if I had folded this first fold here a little bit differently, right, that would change how wide my firefly was gonna be. Um, so that's just something to kind of keep in mind. I went about halfway, uh, halfway down that side, side triangle. So you can kind of see that I've got this kind of more boxy looking firefly. This other sample that I had made, I didn't fold it so deeply. I just went a little bit down, um, and mine looks a little bit, a little bit thinner, right? A little bit less wide. So this is the paper firefly. A couple of embellishments that you can do, like you saw in my sample, is um, to add these drawings. And I'm going to get this a black marker so it's easier to see. I would add. I could add a smiley face up here. Um, I could add some uh, just decorations for these wings. And I'm kind of just going to doodle these on and you can doodle your wings however you like. But I'm going to go doop 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 and then make some over here as well. And I've got some cool wings going on there. 
And I might also, if I like, make some antennae for my firefly. And I would do that um, pulling out that strip of paper I cut off at the beginning and just cutting a little strip like this. And that little strip is gonna become both my antennae. I'm just gonna fold it right in the middle to make a V and then flip my firefly over and tape these antenna right on the back. I'm gonna bring that back. So I've got my little firefly all ready to go. And now I'm ready to put my paper circuit on to my firefly. And the first thing I'm gonna do is fold back these wings just like so. Cause I wanna be able to see this middle. That's where our paper circuit's gonna live. So to make your paper circuit, you're gonna need a battery, a coin cell battery, an LED light, and some cool copper tape. All right, before you get started with any of your paper circuit, you know, laying this down, what you're gonna to wanna to do is test this LED light with your battery to make sure they work. And you'll notice your LED light has two legs and one of those legs is longer than the other. The long leg is a positive. If you look at your battery, you're gonna see one side has a plus. That's the positive side of your battery. So I want the long leg to go over onto that uh, plus side and the short leg to go on the other side. I'm gonna test it just by making it, just by putting it like this, almost like the LED battery is, uh, LED light is riding the battery like it's a horse, right? So I can see my LED light works. You can see the lights coming on. So I'm gonna pull that off. My battery also works, so I feel really good about that. And now I'm ready to attach my copper tape. The first piece of tape I'm going to attach is going to go right up the middle, just like this. And I don't want it to run off the paper, so I'm actually going to trim this a little bit. All right, good. And this LED, or this copper tape always has a little sticky back. So I'm going to pull that off and very carefully unfurl my copper tape and lay it down, just straight up and down in the middle of my firefly. So that's the first part of our paper circuit. The second piece of tape is gonna go across just like this. It's gonna almost touch, not, but not touch that first piece of copper tape. Um, it's gonna go down. Uh, so it's gonna be down here at the bottom. It's gonna go as close as I can to that point without touching or overlapping this other piece of tape. And it's gonna extend all the way onto one of the wings. And you could do it with the left or the right wing, whichever you like better. Uh, but I don't need to be that long, so I'm going to go ahead and trim another little bit off. Okay, and now I'm going to pull the paper off the back and attach this piece of tape. So with copper tape, I always like to kind of lay it down first before I pull the backing off just to get an idea how it's going to lay out and then I'll pull that paper off and, and try to lay it down. So let's see if I've got this. If I fold it over, this is the important part. If I fold this over, I wanna see where my tape ends up. It's gonna go right about here. Okay, why is that important? Well, that's important because the next thing you're gonna do is take your coin cell battery and attach it to your piece. And what you're gonna want is when you fold that wing over, you want it to touch. So I can see that mine is coming up a little short like here. So I need my battery to touch both this strip and to touch that piece where it's gonna fold over. So I'm gonna attach it right in here. So it's only gonna to touch at this point. And I'm gonna take a piece of my clear tape. I'm gonna tape it down the side here, not where the tape will touch it, not where this wing tape will touch it, um, but on the other side. And it's okay that it covers the copper tape down here. So I've got my belt battery in place. I've got my copper tape there. And now I'm gonna do another test. So I can see up here on the top, this is my plus side of my battery and the tape that touches it is gonna be the tape on the wing. So I want the long piece of my LED leg to go onto that tape from the wing. And I've kind of pulled these apart just a little bit so they will fit across both pieces of tape. And before I tape them down, I'm going to test it. So I'm gonna just pull it over and you can see it's working. That's perfect. And now I know it works. I know that in this position it's working perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and tape that into place. Let's 
Mm, now a piece of tape is a little bit too big, so I stuck it to the table. That's okay. I'm just going to fold it over. And I'm going to test that again. Oh, I did something not quite right. It was working a second ago, but now it is not. So I'm going to take that off and see if I can figure out what I did wrong. It's okay with paper circuits. That sometimes happens. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I've got my LED light. I've got, I know this is the long end. I'm going to go ahead and test this again. Do I have this working? It does work. Okay, so I'm going to tape it down again. See if I can get it to work. Perfect. Okay, I think so. Maybe on the first time I accidentally flipped the legs or something like that. But now it is working perfectly. And I've got my paper circuit firefly. Mm -hmm.